Hey guys, welcome to the Captain Rick Murphy YouTube channel. This is uh, Colin Bukowski here from the Sportsman's Adventures Real Life team. As you saw the last week, we did the extreme kayaking sailfish smackdown offshore in this kayak right here, the Vibe Yellowfin 120. And today I want to talk a little bit about how to protect uh, those kayaks from UV rays, sunlight exposure, and heat. So right here we have the Starbright Ultimate Paddle Sports Cleaner and Protectant. And what this does is uh, for, for all fiberglass, Kevlar, plastic rotomolded kayaks, canoes, and paddle boards, this will lift up all the dirt, salt, and grime that you have built up from your day of fishing and also protect it going forward from your future days of fishing. So the reason I like this product is because, especially if you saw the video from the Extreme Tournament, I flipped a couple times in the rough surf. Obviously my kayak got covered in salt, uh, sand, and all, all that stuff that can damage your kayak. And as you see here, this kayak's covered in metal gear tracks for all your GoPros, rod holders, and stuff like that. So it's a lot of stuff more than the plastic that you want to protect. So the way you use this product is after you've cleaned it and you clean all the salt off of it, all you have to do is make sure the spray nozzle's on, spray the side of the kayak a few times, give that area a good wipe, and the cool thing about this is it offers PTEF polymers, which keep it uh, from, from being slippery. So what happens is a lot of products, oftentimes when you treat your kayak or your boat or anything like that, the surface becomes slippery and a little bit dangerous for you to stand on. And I know a lot of people like to sight fish and stand on their kayaks. So I think it's really important that they use those PTEF polymers so it doesn't get slippery the second you apply it. And you can actually feel that the second you apply the product. So all you gotta do is make sure you cover the full areas of your kayak that that sand salt and dirt can get trapped in especially these handles that have the screws directly to the hole because you don't want those to rust out and have direct access to the hole and anywhere that that salt water can leak into your kayak causing you to sink offshore or inshore or any of the bodies of water that you're going to be fishing so also you want to get up in these gear tracks so those don't rust out again these are screwed directly to the hole you want to protect those to make sure there's no access to the hole if you do flip offshore. Something else, another important part that you'd like to cover on these is the scupper holes. Uh, a lot of freshwater guys uh, put the scupper plugs in because they don't like to get wet, but when you're fishing offshore or large salt, body of water, uh, salt water bodies, like the ocean or the bay or uh, the Everglades or anything like that, a lot of people will leave those scupper plugs open because if there's rough seas, uh, the water will come over, so you want to be able to have that water drain. And that's another area you want to treat because these scupper holes as you can tell, once you get up in here, there's direct access to the hole. So you wanna make sure you treat those as well. So just spray a little bit in there, and it does help to maybe have like a, a pipe cleaner or something that you can just spin around inside the scupper hole like that. So you wanna make sure that these areas that don't seem like they're exposed are treated as well, because believe it or not, those areas are probably more exposed than the outside of the kayak itself. Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is being from South Florida, obviously UV rays, sunlight, and heat can be extremely damaging to the kayak. Now, for those of you that don't keep your kayak in storage or inside in a climate controlled area, this product's extremely important because every day you come back from fishing, you can go ahead and just give your kayak a full wipe down of the Starbright Ultimate Paddle Sport Cleaner, and that'll protect it going forward from losing its color, losing the durability of the plastic, uh, to just make sure everything's performing the way it should be. So that's today's tip from the ultimate paddle sports cleaner and protectant from Starbright. Go get yours today at starbright.com. And don't forget to click that notification bell and subscribe to the Captain Rick Murphy YouTube channel.
Yeah. Can I ask you a quick question? What is it your uh, spring on the Yak? It's uh, from Starbright. It's an uh, ultimate paddle sport cleaner and protectant. I just bought a vibe. The, oh, nice. What kind? 130. 130. Yeah, I have the 130 as well. Nice. How you doing, Colin? Colin, nice, nice to meet you. Coach B. Okay, so how you doing? <laughs> so I was just seeing what you're spraying on. That's just uh, how often do you do that? Uh, every time you come in. Okay. It helps to have a cover for it as well, but uh, the heat. Take a picture of that. Yeah, the heat can also yeah, affect sure. it. So I mean, it's a, a lot of I'm people. Keep it outside, under under like a tarp. But it's gonna be outside. Yeah, yeah. It uh, it'll just it'll keep the color from getting too dull. For sure. And it just make sure that. Uh, None of the dirt corrodes any yeah. of the metal and stuff like that. Absolutely. How long have you had it? Uh, this one's brand new. I've only had it for a few months. Uh, it's, like it? Yeah. Mm. For sure. You're able to stand on it? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Awesome, man. Colin, right? Yeah. Okay. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you, man. Thanks, Thanks again. Again.